Hello dear learners, welcome again. In this video, I am going to discuss MCQ questions based on chapter number 2 of Business Economics. In the first video, I had discussed MCQ questions based on chapter number 1. If you have not watched it, please watch it. I have given the link in the description box. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, this is my channel link. Please do subscribe. So let us begin. In this video, I have taken these topics of the chapter number two, that is utility, cardinal approach, consumer surplus, ordinal approach or indifference curve analysis. So let us begin with the first question. Utility in economics was first coined by Hicks and Allen, Daniel Bernoulli, Marshall, Hobson. So correct answer is utility in economics was coined by Swiss mathematician Daniel Bernoulli. So B is the correct answer here. Utility is the ability of a good to satisfy a want. Who said this? Professor Hobson, Alfred Marshall, Francis Edgeworth, Professor Hicks. This definition of utility was given by Professor Hobson. So A is the correct answer. Utility is the basis of dash. Which, which one of the following is the most appropriate? Utility is the basis of production, distribution, consumer demand, supply so correct answer is consumer demand utility is the basis of consumer demand demand depends on utility of the product the utility is generally related to satisfaction necessity usefulness use uselessness usefulness so here it is a a is the correct answer that is satisfaction utility is generally related to satisfaction when marginal utility is positive total utility decreases is highest remains constant increases the correct answer is to when marginal utility is positive the total utility increases d is the correct answer the law that defines the demand curve to slopes downward is known as diminishing marginal utility, utility maximization, utility minimization, consumer equilibrium. So this demand curve sloping downward is based on uh, this law of diminishing marginal utility. That is A. A is the correct answer to this question. When marginal utility is equal to zero, total utility is First one, maximum, laws of return, minimum, none of the above. So when marginal utility is zero, total utility is maximum. A is the correct answer to this question. A consumer's spending is restricted because of utility maximization, budget constant, demand curve, marginal utility. Consumer's spending capacity depends on income and that is nothing but budget constraint so consumer spending is restricted depending on budget constraint b is the correct answer law of substitution is another name for which law law of diminishing marginal utility law of equi marginal utility law of demand or satisfaction so law of substitution is equivalent to this law of equimarginal utility so b is the correct answer utility depends upon the intensity of want is it true or false it is true it intensity more utility will be more if you are thirsty then the utility of water increases so this a is the correct answer true Which one of which one is the characteristics of utility? Utility has no ethical, moral significance. Utility is psychological. Utility is always uh, uh, individual and relative. Utility cannot be measured objectively. Utility is not necessarily equated with usefulness. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. All are the characteristics of utility. So F last one is the correct answer. 
what are different types of utility form utility place utility time utility service utility possession utility all of the above correct answer is all of the above all are the different types of utility so f is the last one is the correct answer francis edgeworth imagined a device to measure utility and named it as utils hedonimeter nautical money so edgeworth imagined a device and he named as hedonimeter which is which means which is derived from hedonism which means pursuit of pleasure okay so b is the correct answer utility cannot be measured because utility is personal psychological and abstract utility is different for, for different people utility is always changeable and it changes according to time and place all of the above so the correct answer is d all of the above utility cannot be measured why because of these reasons all of, all these three are the reasons total utility to n is equal to means how total utility can be measured u n plus u 2 u 3 up to u n then marginal utility 1 2 3 up to n summation of marginal utility all of the above in fact all are the method any formula you can apply and you can measure utility so d is the correct answer marginal utility denoted by m u n is equal to total utility utility of nth unit minus total utility of n minus 1th unit delta tu upon delta q both a and b total utility divided by total quantity consumed so correct answer is this c that is both a and b you can uh, measure marginal utility by any of these a or b so c is the correct answer average utility denoted by au is equal to total utility divided by quantity consumed delta tu upon delta q delta summation of marginal utility tu n minus tu n minus 1 so average utility can be measured with this formula total utility divided by quantity consumed a is the correct answer a consumer is in equilibrium when marginal utilities are minimum highest equal increasing consumer will be in equilibrium when marginal utilities are equal so c is the correct answer which of the following defines marginal utility the change in total utility divided by the price of a product the maximum amount of satisfaction from consuming a product the total satisfaction received from consuming as much of the product that is available for consumption the additional satisfaction received from consuming one more unit of a product so d is the correct answer the additional satisfaction received from consuming one more unit of a product is the correct answer The law of diminishing marginal utility can be expressed as the more consumption of a product, the smaller is the total marginal utility from consumption. B, the less consumption of a product, the greater is the total marginal utility of the consumption. The more consumption of a product, the smaller is the marginal utility from consuming an additional unit. The more consumption of a product, the smaller is the total marginal utility from consumption. So, correct answer is c the more you consume the marginal utility derived from each additional unit will decline and it will be smaller so this is uh, you know explaining the law of diminishing marginal utility c is the correct answer when marginal utility is decreasing but positive total utility is increasing at an increasing rate increasing at an increasing at a decreasing rate increasing at an increasing rate decreasing at a decreasing rate and decreasing at, at an increasing rate the correct answer when marginal utility is decreasing but positive it will be increasing at a decreasing rate total utility will be increasing but at a decreasing rate 
A consumer with a fixed income will maximize utility when each good is purchased in amount such that the total utility is the same for each good. Marginal utility of each good is maximized. Marginal utility from the last rupee spent is the same for all goods. Marginal utility from the last rupee spent is maximized for each good. Correct answer is C that marginal utility from the last rupee spent is the same for all goods. So C is the correct answer. A rational consumer will be in equilibrium when the marginal utility obtained from one product is equal to marginal utility obtained from any other product. A reallocation of income would increase the consumer's total utility. The marginal utility from the last rupee spent is the same for all goods consumed, total utility becomes zero. So a rational consumer will be in equilibrium when the marginal utility from the last rupee spent is the same for all goods consumed. So C is the correct answer. According to the law of equimarginal utility, equilibrium condition will be shown as here equilibrium in case of law of equimarginal utility uh, will be equal when ratio of marginal utility to its price equal for all goods. So that is uh, shown with the help of this uh, C. Uh, option number C is showing that ratio as equal. So C is the correct answer. You can see MUA divide, uh, divided by PA is equal to MUB divided by P. So all are equal. So uh, C is the correct answer. Consumer surplus was first formulated by Das in 1844, Marshall Keynes Dupit Edgeworth, who gave and formulated this consumer surplus. It was uh, Dupit. C is the correct answer in 1844. According to Professor Tosig, consumer surplus is the difference between potential price and DAS, artificial price, actual price, nominal price, real price. Correct answer is actual price. It is the difference between potential price and actual price. So this uh, B is the correct answer. The excess of price which a consumer would be willing to pay rather than go without the commodity over that what he actually does pay is the measure of this surplus satisfaction. This definition of consumer surplus was given by Jenkins, Alfred Marshall, AJE, Jovenel Dupit, AC Pigou. The correct answer is Alfred Marshall. Marshall has given this definition defining a consumer surplus. Who developed indifference curve? Wilfredo, Pareto, Hicks, Allen, Francis, Edgeworth. It was Francis Edgeworth who developed the uh, indifference curve. So D is the correct answer. Who pioneer, pioneered ordinal utility analysis? Wilfredo Pareto, Hicks and Allen, Alfred Marshall, Francis Edgeworth. Ordinal utility analysis which states that utility at best can be compared was given by Hicks and Allen. So B is the correct answer. A consumer attains equilibrium in case of one commodity when marginal utility of X is equal to price of X, marginal utility of X greater than PX, marginal utility of X less than PX, marginal utility is equal to zero. Correct answer is marginal utility of X should be equal to price of that commodity X. So A is the correct answer. A consumer reaches the point of equilibrium when MRS that is marginal rate of substitution x y greater than price of x and y ratio price of marginal rate of uh, substitution x y less than ratio of price x y marginal rate of substitution of x y equal to ratio price of x and y none of the above correct answer is this c at equilibrium point these two uh, slopes of indifference curve and slope of budget line that should be equal. So C is the correct answer. According to indifference curve approach at the point of equilibrium, this is the same question as previously, but the statement is changed. 
So slope of indifference curve greater than slope of budget line, slope of indifference curve less than slope of budget line, slope of indifference curve is not equal to the slope of budget line, slope of indifference curve equal to slope of budget line. So D is the correct answer. A additional utility derived from the consumption of an additional unit of a commodity is called total utility, average utility, marginal utility, none of the above. This is no doubt marginal utility. Additional utility derived from additional consumption is known as marginal utility. The slope of indifference curve is equal to 1. Marginal rate of substitution, marginal utility 0. Slope of indifference curve is equal to MRS, marginal rate of substitution. Why is indifference curve convex to origin? Due to law of diminishing marginal utility, due to monotonic preferences, due to continuous decline of marginal rate of substitution, both A and B. Correct answer is due to continuous decline of marginal rate of substitution the indifference curves are convex to the origin slope of budget line is price of x divided by price of y price of y divided by price of x mrs price of x multiplied by price of y correct answer is price of x divided by price of y so this a is the correct answer which of the following is not the property of indifference curve? Higher the indifference curves, higher the level of satisfaction. Two indifference curve cannot intersect each other. Indifference curve is concave to the origin. Indifference curve is downward sloping. Indifference curve is not concave, it is convex. So the C is the correct answer. It is not the property of indifference curve. And an indifference curve slopes downward down towards right since more of one commodity and less of another result in same satisfaction greater satisfaction maximum satisfaction decreasing expenditure so a is the correct answer with the downward sloping indifference curve you consume more of one and less of another commodity giving you same level of satisfaction a shift in budget line when prices are constant it's due to change in demand change in income change in preferences change in utility so this budget line shifts to the right or left depends on change in income so if income increases budget line shifts to the right if income decreases budget line shifts downward to the left so b is the correct answer a set of indifference curves drawn on a graph is called indifference curve, indifference map, budget line, all of these, it is known as indifference map. Higher indifference curve indicates lower level of satisfaction, same level of satisfaction, higher level of satisfaction, either higher or same level of satisfaction. Correct answer is higher than indifference curve higher will be the level of satisfaction. Lower the difference curve, lower will be the satisfaction. So C is the correct answer. Thank you so much students. Thanks for watching. Press the bell icon for more such videos. Thank you.